Last time on Broken Tour Garage, priming up the 360 resulted in a massive oil leak. Did I get it fixed? Find out next on Broken Tour Garage. Okay, why are we staring at this? Because this is the piece I'm talking about that goes up in there. It gets bolted down with a little oil filter adapter, right? And there's a gasket underneath there. So the book didn't really help me out, so I went to uh, forums for a bodies only. This is another gasket uh, that I had one of my spare ones. So what they said, the guy had the exact same problem I did, high volume oil pump, uh, small block Mopar, and what they said worked was they just took the ring here, they didn't use the three spoke part of that, they just had the one that was the ring, put it in there, and that solved the problem. So what I'm going to do, this is the 90 model 318, that's the stock one that has not been messed with right there. I'm going to pull that out and see what the factory had behind there as part of my research. Then I'm going to go over to the truck. Well, I'll just take it from there, right? But I'm going to show you what that looks like in there. I did go over that in my oil pump uh, video that I did. That was the last part, a little bit on the small block Mopar stuff. Okay, that's just a 3 8 not a wobble socket. It just goes in there. There we go. I get closer to it with uh, auto auto light, <laughs> auto light. So they just unscrews like that. Now I just have this to try to. Ooh ah ooh mess. Uh, try to get out. So that does not have. That has the thin one on there. Well, that's why it's a shop floor, not a kitchen, right? But it's just the thin one in there. It is not the spoked one. What I think might be happening is the spoked one, when it sits in there, it adds a space in. Let me get this over to the table. So if you look at the plane right here, that gasket, if I use the three spoke one, it could hold this up so it, it clamps here first and it doesn't get a good seal around there. Uh, that's the stock stuff, so I may have to go buy one of those. Uh, I wasn't quite aware of that. Uh, I don't know why they make that one, uh, but uh, I should be. I might be able to trim that and give that a whirl and see what happens there. Okay, it's off. I used a three-spoke one. As as you can see, the shiny right there is the oil that bypassed. Now I knew I, I know some of it will get on there. But I think the bottom was around in here somewhere, so I'd expect only the oil on the bottom. It shouldn't have been on the top side because everything was drained out when I pulled it off, right? So oil was getting up all the way around this bugger. Okay, if we look up here, we do see a witness mark right here. See how that's crushed in? You see the little line around there. I know you can't see it as well as I do. But the little dark spot and line, that means that was hitting the block first because that's actually crushed in. If you look all the way around here, there's no actual crushing going on, no sealing going on on this. So that verifies what I found on the interweb uh, for a bodies only, that that is exactly what was going on. So what it was doing is this right here, the plate was uh, hitting, the, the, the middle part was hitting the block first and I wasn't getting any sealing pressure along the outside. So I'm going to go through, clean all this up. I'm not going to use this gasket because it has oil on it. I want to go in and use that. Well, mostly dry. I had to, to touch it with my greasy hands. But uh, I will clean this off really good, clean the surface good. I'm going to cut the little three spokes out of there. Uh, like I said, I don't know what, oh, yeah, I'm about to touch with my greasy hand again. Uh, I don't know what that's for, but uh, apparently uh, that's not for this. And you know what the bad thing is? I probably figured this out years ago when I was doing more small block Mopars, uh, uh, messing with them and everything. 
All right, clean my parts there, getting ready for Loctite. And I'm gonna go up underneath the truck to show you the block side over here, so bear with me. We're gonna be coming down, over, under, wiggle, and up. And light. So you see, I'm holding one. Kind of look at the screen. One hand. Okay, there we go. So, under the truck, you see the center part right there. It actually sits higher than the seal. So uh, it just depends on how much distance there is. You know, how much concave there is on that. Apparently, not enough to run a gasket there and on the seal. Ah, no leaks. I feel much better now that I've found the problem because there's, it just doesn't feel good. You, you, you know, at least I wasn't starting an engine and finding out it leaked. That, that's happened before. That was the oil filter. Uh, I replaced the filter and it solved the problem. You know, I had that thing on and off, on and off, on and off and trying to figure out what's going on. Uh, so that can't happen. Rare I've had that happen one time. All right, whoo, like I said, that's so much, so much better uh, now that I've found that.